G'day folks. Well, I uh, sort of said I'd have a uh, hot bulb engine coming up and a good friend of mine decided to donate a couple of these old Volkswagen engines. They're both in very rough shape. There's another one outside down there. Um, not really worth rebuilding or doing anything with apart from a bit of experimental use. Now this one here has a bad case of timing belt wear. You might notice there's very little of the lugs left and I believe it's slipped to the point where there's virtually no compression. I don't believe there's an interference engine so it probably hasn't smashed valves or anything but it's just slipped enough to just stop. I've got the belt off the other one which had been replaced recently and is in very good condition. As you can see there's a bit of a difference between the newer one and the old one. So yeah. I'm just curious as to whether or not anyone knows what position these timing marks should be in. Assuming I can even get this pulley off and see the other ones. Retiming this is going to be the hard part. Everything else seems to be fine. It's got a carburetor on it which is in good condition apart from the choke mechanism which is smashed. But the choke, choke can be manually operated anyway. Just push that over and choke it manually. The rest of it seems to be okay. Uh, yeah, interesting engines. Largely open timing cover, so a lot of dust has gotten up in there and eaten the belt. Pretty much de destroyed the belt. And uh, yeah, it's just a straight out four cylinder, distributor ignition, uh, a very old oil filter. Exceedingly old. Like an original Volkswagen oil filter. Uh, yeah, I want to turn this thing into a uh, hot tube engine using my little uh, glow plug inserts. It'd probably be a lot easier with a carburetor like this rather than an EFI engine. All I need to do is just mist diesel fuel down the inlet and uh, see what happens. The rest of this engine, well, ain't really worth salvaging. Uh, as far as I know anyway. I know someone's going to tell me they're pretty rare and then I won't be able to bring myself to do it, but... Ah oh, well. <laughs> There's another one out here anyway. This one's full of water. Oh, I think it blew a head gasket and seized up. And it's just been out in the weather ever since. It's an absolute mess. And again, it's a uh, Volkswagen come Audi. It's got the four rings, the Audi logo on it. Uh, I can't remember the exact designation I found. The designation of this engine on uh, the net but I didn't find any information on actual timing like that is probably a counterbalance and distributor shaft on oil oil pump fuel pump distributor and pretty much everything yeah distributor and everything moves when you turn that so you got a counter shaft overhead cam shaft and crank shaft uh, this one's obviously seized, but the rest of this one seems to work. I just want to know what the timing marks are, if anyone's ever worked, want, worked on one of these things. That's a tensioner. The bearings in it feel okay, so I'll probably reuse that if I need to. Yeah, timing belt tensioner. But anyway, this one's the parts unit. Uh, Volkswagen Audi Slant 4. God, there's a lot of bugs tonight. It's been an absolute massacre. <laughs> but yeah, they're a Volkswagen Audi Slant 4 cylinder. It's got a uh, Bravato, Bravato Carburetor, Italy. Obviously, uh, twin throat carburetor. Um, yeah, interesting little setup. Never seen anything like this before. Very nice and clean inside. You can see the metallic surfaces inside the head are just, they're lightly yellow, but they're fine. So, I don't know why this one was shelved, but apparently it was running when it was shelved. But that timing belt is really sad, so I'm guessing it just started slipping one notch at a time until it just became bogged down and just couldn't work properly. 
I don't think they're an interference engine. If they are, well, I might be in trouble because there ain't much compression. I know valves are sticking or damaged, but we'll give it a try. I'll make a mess of it anyway. If anything's worth salvaging or selling, it'd be the carburetor distributor and maybe the fuel pump. That's about it. Water pump's shot completely. So, yeah, a bit of fun. If anyone can fill me in on these things, it'd be greatly appreciated because I've just been through Google and I've had a really hard time finding specific information on these engines. The main thing I'm interested in is how to retime this one if it needs it. It might be timed okay, but I don't know where the timing marks are supposed to line up. So, yeah. Have a great night and thanks for watching.